There we go. It's time now for the Angler's View, brought to you by Bole H2 Optics. Danielle and Kathy went in search of sunfish in four to seven feet of water. The girls looked for areas with scattered weed growth and boulders close to camp with their 15-foot canoe. They targeted weed pockets, areas where they knew these somewhat scrappy little fish would be hiding. Sunfish primarily feed during daylight hours, making them easy to catch all throughout the day. Bluegills and pumpkin seed are plentiful throughout the Kawartha chain of lakes, even from the shore or a dock. They are an ideal species to whet a child's appetite for fishing, as good numbers of fish are generally caught. Ultralight equipment is best suited for pursuing and successfully enticing these panfish into striking. The girls used 5 foot 6 inch ultralight rods combined with small spinning reels spooled with 6 pound test monofilament fishing line. Artificial baits are also highly effective for a whole variety of panfish species such as perch, bluegill, pumpkin seed, crappie and rock bass. Both artificial and live bait presentations work well. Kathy and Danielle baited their hooks with leeches and worm pieces fished under a small slip float. Three small split shot were used to submerge their hook baits to the desired depth of three to four feet. A number four hook was sufficient to ensure hooking up with the biting fish. If you are a novice angler or you simply want something to occupy the kids at the cottage or campsite, try pan fishing. It can be both relaxing and fun for the whole family. Weather conditions through the whole weekend varied from full sun to overcast with light rain. For more information on subjects featured in today's show, log on to our website.